It's the holiday season, which means lots of eating of some of your favorite dishes. But that doesn't mean you have to add inches to your waistline. Well, here to share some tips and tricks for eating healthier this year is celebrity chef Stuart O'Keefe. Welcome back, Stuart. Hi, thanks for having me back. Wow. Absolutely. Now, listen, before we get to your healthy dishes, you have some quick and easy hacks, you say, for eating healthy this holiday season. What you got for us? This is what I always do. Listen, if I'm going to a friend's or I'm going to my family's and so forth, like I'll always have a light snack before I leave, before I leave the house. Or if I'm having, you know, one or two friends over, I'll have a light snack as well. Brussels sprouts are the way to go. If you get Brussels sprouts, you don't want to roast them in the oven, shred them up, cook them on the pan with some olive oil, salt, pepper, and some pecorino cheese on top. It's a really filling vegetable. I love that one. Okay. Can't have the bread rolls, guys. Stay away from them. It's empty calories, and you can eat other stuff. Other, there's, all, there's always other fun stuff on that table, so leave those alone. Also, I and I'm really bad at doing this, but I always try eat slow when you sit down to your meal. And, you know, finally, we come to dessert. Share a slice. Like, break a slice of pie and share it with, you know, a friend or a family member, or just have, like, two or three bites. That's all you need. You don't need, like, two or three slices, guys. <laughs> I also think, Stuart, with dessert, you know what? Don't eat dessert right away. Wait. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes you actually may not want dessert later on. So give yourself a little time, and then you can have the dessert if you really want so, uh, a little later. But, Stuart, you also recommend uh, some food substitutions uh, that yeah. can make the meals healthier. And people tend to think that a substitution means you're losing taste because you're gaining healthier aspects. That's not true. You can yeah. have taste and good health. Absolutely. Listen, the two ingredients I think that are used the most around like Thanksgiving or holidays, Christmas, whatever it may be, is cream and butter. Let's be honest. I think we can all agree with that, right? <laughs> it makes things taste so much better. But look, here's some quick little hacks if you're in the kitchen. Substitute the butter for some extra virgin olive oil. It's totally fine, guys. As long as you're not sauteing at a high heat, the extra virgin olive oil is a great way to go. We want to substitute cream. This is like the big one for me. If you get some cornstarch and mix it with some 2% milk, mix that up, add that to your soups or your stews or whatever you're making, and that will thicken it up and also give you that creaminess there as well. Oh, Another like good, I've never heard that before. Yeah, yeah cornstarch, like everybody's like cornstarch, it's gluten-free as well. It's a good little thickening agent. It's just a nice little kind of step to have in your kitchen, a nice little condiment to have in your kitchen for that. Also some milk and some Greek yogurt is great too. So there are three little kind of hacks for you uh, when you're cooking this holiday season. Awesome. I like, I'm going to use that cornstarch. That's pretty good because I, I do like yeah. creams and I like butters, but I'm going to try Me too. that. So, <laughs> hey, Stuart, you have uh, some things you're going to make for us today. Uh, what you got? Yeah. So look, we all, I always kind of go on about salads and so forth. It is a healthier way to go, but I got a great salad here. I call it like my winter kind of like chopped salad. We got some cucumbers, carrots, shredded carrots. Okay, fine. That's nothing, nothing crazy there. But let's start roasting our vegetables. It's winter time. We got some beautiful beets here. You can roast them in some uh, kitchen foil. And then we got some cauliflower. They are hearty, meaty vegetables mm -hmm. that you can eat and you will feel full. If you're bringing this over to a potluck, then you know there's something healthy on the table. And we have a beautiful apple cider vinaigrette to go with that as well. Now, if we're going with a vegetable side, I love carrots. They're easy to make. The best way you can get the sweetness out of them is just roasting them at about 400 degrees for about 30 minutes on there. And I just kind of just did some olive oil, salt, pepper, roast them. And then what I did was I just made this simple little creamy like tarragon dressing with it. Listen, we're being healthy here so we can add a few more calories to the dressing. And all there is in there is some creme fraiche, tarragon, salt, pepper, and I did like a teaspoon of mayonnaise in there just to give it a nice kind of like punch of flavor. That anise is beautiful. And you and just Stuart, drizzle that over the top. Stuart, people who are trying to be calorie conscious have to realize yeah. that sometimes, you know, it's a checks and balances. If you're going to go a little lighter on you know, mm. some of your vegetables and your other things in your salad, you can go a little heavier uh, on the dressing and vice versa. So it really is Absolutely. about, you know, it's a plus or minus kind of game. Yeah, it's like, it is, it's a game. If you want that soup, just have a half a cup of soup just so you can get that taste and then move along, have some protein with some, just bulk up on vegetables and then you can have that dessert. I love it. Well, Chef Stewart, these are great hacks and great recipes. Easy to make, by the way, and very affordable. Yeah. So you enjoy the holiday and thanks so much for stopping by. Thank you so much.